allow us to talk about one of the most important chapters in the Quran. One of the most important surah in the Quran. A surah that teaches us about life. It teaches us those who are successful and those who are losers. It teaches us the way of life and how to be of those who are successful and not be of those who are the losers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes an oath by time. He says, Wal Asr. He makes an oath by time. And the great, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, makes an oath with something that is also great, which is time. And part of time is the life journey that you and I have. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes an oath by time, He also says that indeed all of mankind are in a state of loss. He makes an oath that all of us are in state of loss. Now loss has two meanings. The loss in this world and the loss of the hereafter. As for the loss of this world, it can compensate. So if, for example, you lose wealth, you can compensate that wealth. You lose work, you can get another job. But the major loss, the greater loss, is the loss of hereafter. When you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are those who are losers on the day of judgment. That's a loss that you can't compensate at all. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks, us, talks to us about the majority and makes an oath that the majority are in a state of loss, He says, accept. Those who are the minority, except those who believe, those who have Iman, those who have faith. And as we know, the Iman is to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to believe in His angels, to believe in His books, to believe in His prophets, to believe in the Day of Judgment, and to believe in destiny, the good of it and the bad of it. This is Iman Billah Jalla wa ala. This is faith and this is Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, except those who believe and do righteousness. Do, do They do righteousness, they do righteous deeds. They act upon the Iman. Iman, faith and righteousness come together. They are separate. So when someone says, oh, I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he doesn't pray, he doesn't fast, doesn't read the Quran, then there is no Iman. Because Iman goes up when you do righteous deeds and it decreases when you do sins. So Iman and righteous deeds come together. They come together. This is something we need to be aware of. So don't say, oh, I've got Iman, but you don't do no, you don't do no righteous deeds. This, this does not make sense. It's like you have the best of car, the most expensive car, the best Ferrari, but you don't have petrol to put into the car. The car won't move. Your heart won't work if you do not do righteous deeds. It doesn't matter if you so-called have Iman. This is something we need to keep, keep aware of. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, except those who believe, do righteousness, and then they advise one another to the truth upon the truth to advise one another to do righteous deeds to pray to fast to be uh, obedient to your parents to be honest to be trustworthy this is advice advising one another upon the truth also advising one another unto staying away from sins so if someone comes up to you and tells your brother this is haram you shouldn't say this you shouldn't backbite you shouldn't slander you shouldn't all this take the advice umar ta'ala says May Allah have mercy upon the one that gifts me, give me a present, advising me. Please, brothers, accept an advice. Ali says an amazing saying, says the believers, those who believe in Allah, truly believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they advise one another. As for those who are hypocrites, who do not have really iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are the ones that cheat one another. So we need to understand this and ponder upon this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that all of mankind, and it makes an oath, that all of mankind are in a state of loss. They are all lost. Except those who believe. Do righteousness. They advise one another to the truth. And they advise one another upon patience. They advise one another to be patient. Al-Iman, belief, requires patience. Righteous deed requires patience. Advising one another requires patience. All of this, in other words, Allah subhanahu wa is telling us, if you do not want to be of the losers, you need to be patient. Because belief, having iman in this day and age, it, it is so hard, it requires patience. Doing righteous deeds, it is hard. Fasting a whole month, praying five times a day, reading the Quran, it requires patience. It's hard. To advise one another also, it, it, it's hard and it requires patience. You might be advising your friend and he might be laughing at you. It requires patience. To stay away from sins, it's hard because sins and, and, and pleasure is so easy to obtain in this life, in the way we're living today. So it also requires patience. So all of this, to not be of those who are losers, it requires you to be patient. Patience has been mentioned in the Quran more than 90 times. And one of the famous verses in Surah Ali Amran, the last verse, Allah says, All you who believe, be patient. 
and be more patient and be ready because it's not, it's not going to be easy. Be ready, be steadfast, be on guard and then fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be of those who are successful. I'll call you that.